Hi guys, this week's been another busy week. I've been metro checking, liver biopsying and also disbudding. Uh, but this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the two ways in which we apply force to get a calf out. And the two which we normally use are either pulleys or a carving jack. So like I said in the last video of my carving box, whichever one you use is really down to personal preference. I only ever used a jack in my first job because that's all we had and here I only ever use a pulley because that's all I got given to begin with. So yeah, they both have pros, they both have cons and it's completely up to you what you choose to use. So first of all we'll start with a pulley. So this is my pulley, it's, um, it's, it needs to be bleached a bit more. I always chuck it in bleach at the end of the season but this is what I use here on the west coast and it's about two two and a half meters long okay pros the pros of using a pulley it's super compact you can just chuck it in a carving box and you're good to go the other advantages of it is that it's very adaptable about where you can anchor it so you can get angles if a cow goes down, if a cow's standing, you can anchor it pretty much anywhere you can actually attach it to. Uh, the other pro which I quite like about it is you can really vary the amount of force which you're using on it. You can loosen it off, you can push down on it, you can pull up on it. Um, and that really allows you to have a lot more dynamic about how much force you are applying on the calf to get it forward or backwards. Another pro as well is it's a lot cheaper than a jack. This sort of pulley costs about 215 New Zealand dollars. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cheap, pretty readily available. The downsides are it is a lot harder to clean. Being, being rope, it does hold moisture and therefore membranes and goo and smell a lot more. So it does take a lot more soaking and disinfectant and drying as well in between jobs. It also requires an anchoring point, so if you have to go and do a carving in the middle of a paddock, it can be a bit of a pain because you have to organise somewhere that you can actually anchor your pulley to, whether it be the, the back of a, a tractor or the back of a power pole, something stationary which you can then pull the calf out with. Uh, and yeah, but generally speaking, I'm rather quite impressed with a, with a pulley really. Moving on. Now to a jack. So, as I said, I used a jack in my first job, and this part goes onto the cow, and that connects onto here. This attaches to her hips with a tail coming down there, and you jack the car using the jack system on the, on the pole. Uh, the poles are rather long, I think the pole goes to about 2 metres as well. Uh, pros with a pulley is it's really good for one man jobs. If it is just you want to carve a cow, you can use a pulley, uh, sorry, you can use a jack. Whereas a pulley, you still need one person to pull it, one person to feel where the calf is. With this, because the jacking system is so close to the actual cow, you can almost jack and feel simultaneously. It's pretty pretty easy. Another nice thing about it is it can you can use it anywhere with no anchoring point so if you just have a cow out in a paddock you just take this to a, attach it on it and you're good to start. The, it's metal, pretty obvious, so it's pretty easy to clean and disinfect so it's probably much easier to keep, keep clean in between jobs. Downsides to it, it is a little bit more, well, it is a lot more expensive than a pulley. So, whereas the pulley was $250, this is around a thousand US dollars, sorry, not US dollars, New Zealand dollars. Um, it's not that great, I find, when the cow goes down. It is, I can find it very hard to sometimes, particularly if she's in a race, if she lies down in a race, it's very hard to get a good angle with a jack, whereas the pulley is a lot more versatile. Um, and also if a cow's got room and she starts swinging around, if she starts swinging around, this, this tail end goes 
everywhere and it generally bashes you around with shins so that's that's less than ideal as well but probably the main factor i don't i'm not a huge i would prefer a pulley over the jack is just the fact that it's pretty much all or nothing with a jack you either put the pressure on or you release the pressure off you can't you can't so much as balance it or play with it as much as you can with a pulley which is a lot more easy to control that the amount of force which you put through the put through the um car however if it if i was on a farm and it was just me and i one person had to carve a cow i would choose to use a jack it is a lot more versatile when out in paddocks and whatnot than the pulley system is but generally being a vet i generally have a farm to lend the hand or a tech to help as well so i would generally stick with a pulley system but it's all down to personal preference and whichever you are more comfortable with is probably going to be the best results. The main point as well is lube, lube, lube. Always apply lots of lube, it makes the job so much easier. And if you're still not making any progress after 10 minutes, try something else. If you're still not making any progress, call for help. Whether that be someone else on farm, a friend or the vet. So that's uh, that's a pulley and a jack. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you later on. Have a good one.